Imagine a world where trading a cow for a sack of weed was the norm. Now fast forward to a time where a single click can move billions of dollars across the globe. Fascinating, isn't it? But how did we get here? What drives the value of money and what could the future hold? Join us as we answer these questions and unravel the history of money, the lifeblood of civilizations. Let's start at the very foundation. What is money? In its simplest form, money is a tool, a facilitator of transactions. Money exists in various forms, from tangible coins and notes to digital figures. It evolved from a need to simplify trade, transcending the limitations of bartering. Firstly, as a medium of exchange, money eliminates the complications of direct barter. Imagine trading a horse for a house without a common medium. Secondly, it acts as a store of value. Money allows you to store your hard-earned wealth and retrieve it when needed. Finally, as a unit of measure, money provides a common ground for the value of goods and services, making pricing and accounting more uniform. So money is not just paper or digital numbers. It's an agreed-upon system for facilitating trade, preserving wealth and measuring value. This concept might seem straightforward now, but its journey through history is anything but straightforward. So without further ado, let's dive into the fascinating evolution of money. In ancient times before coins and banknotes, trade was a game of direct exchange. Goods for goods, services for services. Livestock, particularly cattle and sheep, were among the earliest forms of money. Their value was inherent, representing wealth and trade power. But as civilizations advanced, the need for more convenient trade led to the use of metal money. Enter the Lydians, an ancient civilization from modern-day Turkey. Around 600 BC, they revolutionized trade by introducing the first minted coins. These coins were made of electrum, a natural alloy of gold and silver, and each coin was stamped to guarantee its value. Meanwhile, in Mesopotamia, the concept of credit was emerging. Here, clay tablets inscribed with cuneiform script represented agreements and debts. These clay tablets were not only the precursor to credit, but to paper money as well, which wouldn't appear until much later in history. Speaking of paper money, China was leaps ahead. During the Tang Dynasty around the 7th century, the Chinese introduced the world's first paper currency, also known as flying cash. This innovative leap made trade more efficient and opened doors for economic development on a scale previously unimaginable. But the history of money continues. Especially the banking system we know nowadays found its ways into society in the Middle Ages. So stay tuned for the next part and leave a like if you've enjoyed the video so far. As the medieval period unfolded, the landscape of money saw profound changes. Let's dive into the era of money changers and the dawn of banking. Money changers were crucial in medieval trade. They exchanged currencies, evaluated coinage, and facilitated trade across different regions. But their role didn't stop there. These money changers gradually evolved into lenders, giving birth to the early concept of banking. By the time of the Renaissance, banking had taken a more structured form. The Medici Bank, established in 1397 by the powerful Medici family, became one of the first and most prosperous institutions. The Medici Bank and many other banks predominantly used bills of exchange. These were essentially IOUs, promises to pay, that could be traded among merchants. Logically, these bills made transactions significantly smoother and laid the groundwork for modern checks and banking practices. As privately owned banks emerged, there was still a void left to fill. Enter the central banks. 
These institutions emerge to regulate the economy and control the issuance of currency nationwide. For example, the Bank of England, established in 1694, was one of the earliest central banks. It played a pivotal role in managing the nation's currency and finances. These developments set the stage for a financial revolution, transforming how money was managed, stored and valued. If you want to transform your thoughts regarding this video into a vivid discussion, try the comment section and leave a comment down there. Now let's journey into the modern era, where the concept of money took some dramatic turns. The 20th century marked the end of the gold standard, a pivotal shift from money backed by physical gold to what we call fiat money. Fiat money, unlike gold-backed currency, derives its value from government regulation. It's not backed by physical reserves, but by the trust in the government that issues it. Thus began the holy age of printing money as there was no tomorrow. Another monumental change was the creation of currency unions like the Eurozone, meaning multiple nations adopting a single currency, in this case the Euro, to facilitate easier trade and economic stability. But this period wasn't without challenges. Global economic crises such as the 2008 financial crisis or the global pandemic had profound impacts on the perception and stability of money. These crises highlighted the vulnerabilities in our financial systems and led to significant reforms in banking and monetary policies. An often overlooked aspect is the nature of modern money as debt. Today's money system is heavily based on credit and debt, creating a complex interplay between financial growth and debt accumulation. This debt-based system has profound implications on economies influencing everything from inflation to interest rates and even economic cycles. Understanding this aspect is crucial to grasp the full picture of our current monetary system and its future trajectory. As we venture into the future of money, innovation and technology are rewriting the rules of finance. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum are at the forefront, leveraging blockchain technology for secure and decentralized transactions. The blockchain offers a transparent, tamper-proof ledger. It's not just a trend, it's a technology that could revolutionize how we view money. But cryptocurrencies couldn't exist without their challenges. Volatility, regulatory issues and adoption hurdles are part of the landscape. Parallelly, we see the emergence of central bank digital currencies, or in short, CBDCs. CBDCs could offer faster, more efficient transactions while maintaining government oversight, unlike decentralized cryptocurrencies. In this digital shift, the future of traditional banking and central banking systems is also under scrutiny. Will they adapt or be disrupted? Nearly $33 trillion. That's what the U.S. national debt was as of early September 2023. At the end of July 2023, when the debt was about $300 billion less, roughly $7 trillion of that was intragovernmental debt holdings, meaning the government owes itself that money. The majority of the debt, about $25.7 trillion, was held by the public. One pressing concern for the future is the sustainability of our debt-based monetary system. As debt levels rise globally, the strain on economies becomes more apparent. This debt burden raises questions about long-term financial stability and the potential need for systemic reforms. The future of money might see a blend of traditional and digital forms, each with its strengths and challenges. As we look ahead, it's clear that our relationship with money is evolving rapidly. The fusion of technology and finance promises a future where money is not just a medium of exchange, but a more integrated part of our digital lives. But before we move towards the conclusion, let us remind you of the importance of integrating knowledge into your life.
So don't forget to subscribe to Allies of Z. As we conclude our journey through the history of money, we've witnessed its remarkable evolution from barter to Bitcoin. The essence of money has always been about its ability to facilitate trade and store value. But what drives the value of money? It's not just the physical or digital form it takes. From ancient coins to today's digital currencies, each transition was propelled by the need for more efficient, secure and accessible money. But one thing remains constant. The value of money is deeply rooted in our trust in its stability and utility. This trust, while intangible, is the real currency that powers economies and shapes our financial destinies. As we embrace the future, let's remain mindful of money's past, its present influence and its potential to transform societies. Understanding money's history and evolution empowers us to navigate its future with insight and foresight. The story of money is far from over, and its next chapter promises to be as fascinating as its past. But remember allies, money isn't the most important thing in life. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Until next time.